What's up guys and welcome to my review for Logan. I do apologize, I didn't really review many films in February. So if you're if you're new to the channel, welcome to my review, welcome to the channel. But if you're not, I do apologize, I missed A Cure for Wellness, I missed Get Out. At the beginning of the month I missed Rings, a couple of releases that I really wanted to see. And if I get the chance to see these films, I will. But... We're back into the swing of things now, and here is my review for Logan, and it stars Hugh Jackman as the title character, and Patrick Stewart as Professor X. And these characters are now old. You know, they're not the way they used to be. They're, their age, I think this one takes place uh, 25 years after X-Men Days of Future Past, maybe? Something like that. Maybe 25, 30 years it takes place after... And, uh, you know, you, you see these characters now, and, and Logan in particular, he's, he's just worn down, and it, it's almost like he doesn't want to live anymore. And he just wants to die, and he just wants to live out the rest of his days really doing nothing and not caring about anybody or anything, really. He's just living to die, pretty much. Kind of like, it kind of reminded me of Casey Affleck's character from Manchester by the Sea, to be honest with you. Is this a kind of similar parallel? And his relationship with Patrick Stewart, as Professor X, is great. And they're back and forth throughout the beginning of the film. They're kind of like an old married couple, to be honest with you. Kind of, you're, you're watching these two and they're bickering back and forth at some points. And it's, it's, sometimes it's humorous, but sometimes it's kind of heartfelt because of some of the conversations that they're having, uh, reminiscing about the past or whatever. You really kind of feel for these characters. And then once this little girl, if you've seen the trailers, this little girl with these special powers, if you hadn't seen the trailers, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but if you did, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She can do some stuff. And once she's, you know, kind of brought into Logan's life, now he kind of has to go on this final adventure to to sort of find himself at the same time and help this little girl. And, uh, you know, going into Logan, I loved the trailers. They were phenomenal. And after leaving the film, this was a fantastic movie. From beginning to end, this movie is phenomenal. It's the first R-rated X-Men film, I guess if you want to say. It's just this Wolverine movie. It's the first R-rated one. And, uh, I've, if, I mean, I'm not including Deadpool because that's like its own thing, kind of. But this is, a, you know, it's the first time Wolverine is seen on the screen in an R rating. And it is phenomenal and it is brutal. There's a lot of blood in this movie, and when there is action and when he does kill people, it is absolutely brutal to watch some of this stuff. But at the same time, you're sitting there in pure awe and enjoyment because you've been waiting to see this for a long time. And it pays off tremendously. I mean, I think the action in the film is phenomenal, and I think the direction in the film is phenomenal by James Mangold, who also directed The Wolverine. Uh, which came out in 2013, I believe. He directed that as well, which I did enjoy that movie until, like, the end of it. I feel like the end of the film, the, like, the climax of that movie kind of just... It was a different movie entirely, almost. It just kind of felt cliched. But this film, the whole way through, nothing about it is cliched. Now, I am watching the movie, and I'm about... I don't know, I'm, it's almost through, and we're towards the end of the film, and I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, now... This does seem kind of long. You know, it does seem like it's kind of long, so let's see how it wraps up. Then the film wraps up, and all that goes away, because it all pays off. Everything that is uh, built up in this film is paid off, and in a wonderful way, or in a beautiful way. Like with the character arc of Logan, it is phenomenal, and Hugh Jackman does a phenomenal job playing this character, Probably for the last time. Uh, so he, he's done a wonderful job. Patrick Stewart did a phenomenal job. All the performances, including the little girl, she's phenomenal in this film as well. And, uh, you know, if, if you were to say that there's any issues with the film, it might be with, with the villain. You know, maybe, maybe the villain isn't as strong as he needed to be. But at the same time, I'm thinking about that and I say, well, you know what? This film was a story about Logan and his character arc and what he needed to do and, and all that. It wasn't a film that we needed to get to know the villain and, and really get his motivations or whatever. We know what he's trying to do. But look, guys, in the end, I think Logan is a phenomenal film. I mean, out of the limited films that I've seen this year, it is the best one. And uh, I loved it, and I cannot see any way that I can't give this movie 
five out of five stars. This is a fantastic film from beginning to end. I loved it. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, but I absolutely loved this movie. You guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Did you see Logan, or do you plan on seeing it? What did you think about it? Don't spoil anything in the comments, but what did you think about the film? If you're excited for it, comment below. And also, you can subscribe to this channel for reviews coming in the future. We have Kong Skull Island coming out next week. In two weeks, we have Beauty and the Beast, so that's very exciting. I can't wait for that one. The reviews coming out for it are really good, so I can't wait to see it. we got the Power Rangers coming out. Uh, and what else is coming? At the end of the month, we have the Boss Baby and uh, the Preacher's, uh, the, the Zookeeper's Wife. I keep saying the Preacher's Wife. It's the Zookeeper's Wife. That's what it is. Guys, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Snapchat at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingArises131 for updates on when things will be posted and some Blu-ray unboxings, uh, you know, updates on there and some tiny little things on the side as well. Guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Logan. Over and out. Logan, you still have time.